In the previous movie, we were formatting some text inside of our document here inside of Muse. And when we were formatting it, we dropped down inside the font menu. And when we were in that font menu, there's a lot of stuff that was going on in there that might have confused you. So in this movie, I'm going to explain a little bit more about what's going on inside of that dialog box, specifically related to something called web safe fonts. So let's go ahead and double click on the about me page here. And then what we're going to do is get in here to our text frame down here. Just double click and that will automatically put your cursor in there. And then just come up here and drop down the font menu. And you'll notice that there are several different things. I've been working in Muse a little bit, so I've got some recently used fonts up here. I've also got some web fonts right now. You may not have anything right here, and that's totally okay. Check out right here, though, web safe fonts and system fonts. And let's discuss exactly what these mean. So every computer comes with a lot of different fonts already on it. And those fonts are known as system fonts. And you'll notice underneath here where it says system fonts, it tells you that these are going to export out as images. Why is that? That's because most web browsers only support a small subset of fonts. And those are called web safe fonts. So the fonts that most browsers include are these up here at the top. Arial, Comic Sans, Courier New, Geneva, Georgia, Helvetica, Lucida Sans, Palatino, Times, Trebuchet, and Verdana. And so all of those are available in most modern web browsers, and you can use those to your heart's content in any of your web-based projects. But if you want to get a little bit more fancy and use some different fonts, you can play around with the other fonts on your machine, but just realize those are not going to export out as actual text. And you might be thinking, well, that's no big deal. Well, actually, it's a very big deal because of the fact that when you export out text as an image, it doesn't get indexed by Google. And text being indexed by Google is a very big deal for search engine optimization. So you want to make sure that you have as much text information on your website as possible that's as descriptive as possible to tell Google exactly what your website is, what it does, who you are, and all that good stuff. So my suggestion is just to ignore that system fonts are even in this dialog box whatsoever. There is a section called Web Fonts, which we'll talk about in another movie, where you can add some fancier typography options to your website. So I would just argue that you should stay within Web Safe Fonts and Web Fonts up here at the top and completely ignore these at the bottom. Now, why do I say that? I say that for two very specific reasons. Images take a long time to load, and Google likes text better than it does images. And those are reasons enough to steer clear of what's going on down here. So remember, anytime you're trying to change up the font while you're in Muse, just stick within this little window right here, Web Safe Fonts, or use these web fonts up here at the top, which we'll talk about here in a minute. It's going to save you a lot of headache, and it's going to make your website that much more accessible and better looking to the people that view it.